Lesson 1, series type, example 1. We have to prove by induction that 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus all the way up to n cubed is equal to n squared outside of n plus 1 all squared over 4. And I've starred this for reference. For positive integral, n greater than or equal to 1. Now, for n equals 1, for n equals 1, we have the left hand side is just 1 cubed, which equals 1. The right hand side, I'm substituting in n equals 1, is 1 squared, which is 1, times 2 squared over 4, which also equals 1. Therefore, the left hand side equals the right hand side. So you can say, therefore, the statement is true for n equals 1. Now we're going to assume that the statement is true for some value k, for n equals some value k. That is 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus all the way up to k cubed is equal to k squared outside of k plus 1 all squared over 4. And I'll call that, or refer to that as A, the assumption statement. Now we have to prove it true. Now we have to prove it true. Now prove the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. That is 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus all the way along to k cubed plus k plus 1 cubed is equal to replacing k with k plus 1 k plus 1 all squared times k plus 2 all squared over 4 and I call that statement P Now, we, if we add k plus 1 all cubed to both sides of the statement A, which we assume to be true, we get 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus etc up to k cubed plus k plus 1 all cubed is equal to k squared k plus 1 all squared over 4 plus k plus 1 all cubed. Now I'll just underline that so you don't get confused with the algebra. So all I've done is added k plus 1 all cubed to both sides of this statement A. All right? Now you can see here that the left hand side of P is matched the left hand side of this new line of working. Now all I have to do now is to prove that this is equal to that and the result will be true. Okay, so now let's make that statement. Now it is required to prove now it is required to prove that k squared into k plus 1 all squared over 4 plus k plus 1 all cubed is equal to k 
k plus 1 all squared, this one up here, times k plus 2 all squared over 4. All right, now the left hand side, left hand side, is equal to k squared in the k plus 1 all squared on 4 plus k plus 1 all cubed. Now we don't expand out. We take out the highest common factor. Before we do that, we'll put this out of a common denominator of 4 and we'll get k squared and the k plus 1 all squared plus 4 outside of k plus 1 all cubed all over 4. We take out the k plus 1 all squared and you're left with k squared plus 4 that's of k plus 1 all over 4. Now it's most important you take out the highest common factor or there'll be in all sorts of bother. So it's k plus 1 all squared becomes k squared plus 4k plus 4 all over 4. I think you can see now that that is a perfect square. So we get k plus 1 all squared and this becomes k plus 2 all squared over 4 which of course equals the right hand side of our, of our proof statement of P of P okay therefore therefore the statement is true for n equals k plus 1 now we know now the statement is true for n equals 1 proved earlier so by mathematical induction mathematical induction the statement is true for all n greater than equal to 1.